Hey, what's up, you guys? Bloody Jacob here to bring you a quick video talking about my thoughts on Season 2 of Marvel's Daredevil on Netflix so far. Um, just recently checked out the first three episodes of Season 2. And, you know, I'm not one of those people that uh, binge watches on me, so I didn't, like, watch the whole season uh, last night or anything. Um, I sort of like to go about it a little more slowly, sort of take in one to two, three episodes at a time, sort of let things settle and kind of uh, savor it, you know what I mean? Um, you know, sure, there's a couple or a few years ago I uh, got into Dexter and I'd watch, like, three to five episodes a night. Um, but that was before I started doing videos on all these things a week and stuff like that. So, you know, with this, I don't have as much time because I'm mixing this in with watching more of Nikita and Arrow and things like The Hundred and the Vampire Diaries and the Originals when they're on each week and The Walking Dead. But uh, I'm going to get through this, and you know, I heard so far the favorite episode so far has been episode three on New York's Finest. So I at least wanted to watch uh, three episodes and sort of get my thoughts out there to you guys. Um, and then when I do eventually finish the season, I will get you guys my thoughts out there on the season as a whole once I do see the whole thing. Um, I did something similar with the first season. You know, I did a, I did a thoughts video on the first uh, episode, Into the Ring, and then I did my thoughts on season one uh, when I was done with it. And then I did a similar thing with Jessica Jones, um, except I did like a midpoint video to that. But... Uh, yeah, so overall, the first three episodes so far have been very good. Um, I did really enjoy the first season. It's definitely one of, if not the best, uh, live-action comic book-related series out there right now. Um, and of course, uh, as much as I already love the series and the show and stuff, you know, Charlie Cox, you know, he's still great as Matt Murdock, you know, Daredevil. Um, still really like the guy who plays Foggy Nelson. Um, De Deborah Ann Wall is, you know, fine as Karen Page. Um, but of course, what really got me excited about this season, um, for the most part, was of course John Bernthal playing the Punisher. You know Frank Castle. Um, of course, I loved uh, John Bernthal in The Walking Dead as uh, Shane. You know my favorite character on that show, and the Punisher is one of my favorite comic book characters of all time. If you can tell by the shirt. <laughs> um, so my favorite actor to play the Punisher so far has actually been Thomas Jane. Um, and as much as I'd love to have him back, uh, John Bernthal being cast in the role is probably the next best thing for me. Um, and really, I think John Bernthal's doing a great job with the character so far. Uh, as much as I, like I said, as much as I would like Thomas Shane back in the role instead, uh, Bernthal's really nailing it, I think, for this particular version. Um, my favorite episode so far has probably been New York's Finest, episode three. But episode one, um, bang, that did a really good job of building up the Punisher, you know, because for a lot of that first episode, um, Frank Castle is in the shadows, you know, he's, like, uh, Daredevil finds these guys, you know, on meat hooks and stuff like that, or we don't really see a, we don't really get a good look at the Punisher's, uh, face until, you know, at the end when Daredevil finally tries to confront him and fight him. Um... But I really like how brutal yet uh, really tactical they're making this version of the character. You know, really uh, r like the comics, I think. Um, you know, it's not like all overly violent like uh, Punisher Warzone or something either, you know. Um, it is Netflix, so I do have uh, a bit more freedom with the violence than, uh, you know, networks on TV would, for the most part anyway. But, you know, they're not really overdoing it either, which I'm fine with. You know, some people are really going to crave that really hardcore gore or something, but, you know, it's not completely needed, and I think they've shown what he's capable of, um, in a, in a fine enough way already. Um, so episode one is a really good saying all that up, and I also did, like, it seems like they're building, uh, uh, Matt and Karen romance, too, um, when they're playing pool, the way, uh, Karen was showing them how to do it and stuff like that, it was kind of obvious they're trying to build that up, but with, uh, Electra coming in this season, um, you know, it's going to get a little bit complex, but I see, uh, I think it would make sense for Karen and Matt to eventually hook up, though. Um, I'm really excited to see how Electra and the whole hand thing gets mixed into all this, too, and how much of, of a factor the Punisher is going to be when all that shit starts going down. It should be really exciting, though. Looking forward to getting into more of it. Um, in episode three, why I think that was the best so far, uh, New York's Finest, was definitely because 
a lot of it just took place on this rooftop between uh, Frank and Matt or uh, Punisher and Daredevil. We really got some uh, great well-written dialogue um, between the two characters, you know, just really illustrating their different sort of ideologies, their different perspectives on what they believe is the right thing to go about what they're doing. You know, they both have, you know, they're like two different sides of the same coin. You know, in a way, they both have a similar goal, but the way they do it and the way they're getting there is, of course, completely different. Um, we even get a scene very much, or a moment very much like the comics, you know, with. Um, you know, Daredevil being chained around and then uh, Punisher basically putting a gun in his hand and telling him he has to kill him if he wants to stop Punisher from killing this guy um, who he, he had been after. You know, of course he took down the big portion of the Irish mob, uh, you know, a couple of episodes prior. Uh, this is the guy that Daredevil stopped him from getting to a couple of times and of course there's that whole uh, hospital sequence and stuff earlier. Um, but I saw that was really well done and you know, I'd, I'd just butcher it if I tried to repeat some of the dialogue, you know, some of the back and forths they had with each other. But just, uh, just telling you, like, really well written, and, you know, I can't really ask for any better on that end. And John Bernthal is, like I said, doing a really great job, and uh, him and Charlie Cox still have a really good chemistry together. Um, I still hope uh, a Punisher series does happen with Bernthal in the lead. I can already see it working really well. Um, I think it'd be a bad idea not to do it on their end, so I really hope it happens. I think the character and the actor both deserve it. Um, and let's see what else. Like I said, we haven't really got, I haven't really gotten to the uh, Electra stuff yet, but like I said, looking forward to that. So overall, really good season so far, really enjoying it. It's definitely living up to season one. It's probably going to end up being even better than season one. As good as season one was with Kingpin and stuff, you know, it was more more of like a slower build up and now we're into this world we know what it is and now we have these two characters colliding and it's about to get even bigger with what's going on so I'm really looking forward to that so I hope you guys enjoyed this quick video and if there's anything else specifically about the first three episodes that you want me to talk about or give my thoughts on you know feel free to leave a comment below we'd love to talk more about it with you guys and like I said once I do finish the season I will do another video giving you my overall final thoughts so yeah hope you guys enjoyed the video you can follow me on Facebook Movie Pilot Twitter and the Catch you guys next time, and uh, peace. Bang.